guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit of a different Motivation Monday video and I am sharing my weekly weigh-in like I always do, but this week I also gave myself an extra little challenge. And since I'm focusing on hydration as my theme of the month for January, I thought what better time to try out the drinking a gallon of water a day for a week challenge. So today I'm sharing all the results. I just finished my challenge yesterday. As you can see, I'm still, still going, still trying to continue it. So let's get into my why I decided to do this challenge. If you guys are new here, I am on a weight loss journey to lose 150 pounds. I am 60 pounds down on the WW Blue Plan. In 2021, I really want to refresh my weight loss journey and start looking at other areas of my health. So not just the food I'm eating, but my fitness and flexibility, my mental wellness and relationship with food, and also my hydration and how much water I'm drinking. So for the month of January, focusing in on hydration after the holidays, ugh, I felt like I needed so much water in my life. I just wasn't really paying attention to how much I was drinking on a day-to-day -day basis. Alcohol was involved, sugar and sweets were involved. So I just needed to help clear my body of all that stuff and get back on track for 2021. So I figured when better to give this gallon of water a day challenge a go. The results I'm looking for by doing this challenge it is by no means, in my mind, a quick fix to weight loss. Weight loss might be a part of my results, and I will definitely be sharing my weigh-in comparison to the beginning of the week to the end of the week, as well as some side-by-side -side pictures I'm taking. And that is a part of it, and I'm going to share that. But there are other areas that I'm looking for, hopefully, some results in. One of those areas has to do with my skin. I don't have too much trouble with acne or breakouts. However, I do tend to get a lot of texture on my skin. And at the beginning of this week, I was having some breakout issues. So those were things I was excited to hopefully see some changes while doing this challenge. Something else I want to look at with my skin is actually my lips. I have very dry skin, especially in the winter, and they are usually cracking and flaky and just super dry. They're painful even. And I was hoping maybe by drinking more water, the hydration and moisture will come through my skin. So that was something else I'm looking at. Again, I took before and after pictures, so I'm sharing all that with you guys in just a little bit. The next thing I was looking to get results out of with this challenge is if drinking more water on a daily basis will help with my headaches and migraines. Ever since having my daughter, I've actually started suffering from sinus headaches and migraines on occasion. I'll usually come down with a migraine maybe once a month or every other month if I'm in a good stretch, but I've had a lot of sinus pressure and aches the last couple weeks. I don't know if it's to do with the weather and slow, we're in Georgia, so the weather is starting to get warmer already, so I'm sure allergy season is just around the corner. I'm hoping that by having more water and being hydrated, it'll help with my headaches. And finally, as a mama of a toddler, I am always looking for something that's going to give me more energy without needing to drink a million cups of coffee a day. So overall, I'm looking for improvements in my skin, both with clarity and hydration. I'm looking to see if it's gonna help at all with my migraine, headache, pressure, pain that I've been getting lately, my energy levels, and of course, we're also gonna see if it affects my weight loss at all. Let's take a peek back at the week. I picked up my camera and did a little bit of a vlog check-in every day of the week just to see how it was going. And then we'll head right back here and I will run down all my results for you guys. Okay guys, I am fresh from the shower. Day one of starting my water challenge. Um, I have put moisturizer on already, but um, I took a pre no moisturizer picture yesterday that I'll include here too as a beginner, but I am just post my period right now. So I still get breakouts at that time of the month. And um, you can just see I have like texture 
hashtag not your 20s anymore. Um, I'll be 32 in March. So I do have some fine lines and things like that. Um, I have noticed um, my sleep issues have been getting better. If you caught that in one of my last videos, I have noticed that, you know, I'm a little bit dark under my eyes still. I also have very dry skin, especially in the winter, but year round. My lips though, let me see that. This is fresh out of the shower, I have nothing on them. Super dry in the winter, they get cracked, they peel, they hurt. Um, I'm constantly slathering on chapstick and Vaseline, trying to seal in the moisture. So we'll see if drinking more water helps that. Just staying on the routine I've been on, I'm not changing anything else, I'm just sticking to my WW Blue plan. Um, still trying to just get my blue dot every day. I do dip into some of my weeklies, but not all of them. So I'm gonna keep that same eating pattern so that's not changed at all. And then I'm adding in a whole gallon of water a day. I went ahead and actually got a gallon size water jug. Here she is and she is a beaut. I love it so much. It's got fun, bright, happy colors. So maybe it'll keep me happy when I'm attempting to keep drinking a bunch of water every day. Um, I've been doing pretty good so far. It's about 11 a.m. and I'm already to the 1 p.m. mark. I'm trying to go a little bit ahead of the time here because this goes till 9 p.m. and I know once I hit like five o'clock dinner time, that's when I struggle to get more water in is at the end of the day. So if I can work a little bit ahead, I'll be good to go. That's my plan. And I'll uh, kind of vlog a little bit along through the week and let you guys know how it's going. Guys, I'm shopping. I have to pee so bad. Just get on a water a day. Thank goodness the store is a bathroom. Hey guys, okay, so it's a little bit later in the day, day one. It is right around four o'clock. I was out running errands pretty much all morning. I did not bring my water jug with me the couple hours I was out running errands, but I had already gotten to the five o'clock mark before I left this morning. Yeah. I always find that really trying to focus on drinking my water earlier in the day, the morning, early afternoon, I always do better. Cause by the evening, I just don't want to be drinking clean water anymore. I always crave either a little caffeine bump or some fizz, um, you know, and that's when I try and do like a flavored seltzer water or, you know, if it's one of those nights I have a glass of wine, if I have points left, that kind of thing. Um, on WW. So I'm not doing too bad. Just after four and it's still at the 5 p.m. mark. I will say it was important that I chose stores that had bathrooms. I only had to go twice while I was out over like three hours. So that's not too terrible. But I like when I had to go, I had to go. So just getting used to drinking more water again. Doing good so far though. I'll check in at the end of the day to make sure that I finished. And I am so proud of myself. Look at how good I did my first day trying to drink a gallon of water a day. That's all I have left just at the very bottom. And we're gonna go watch a movie and I'm sure I will finish that plenty before I go to bed. That was my goal was to try and be done drinking my water at least an hour or two before I went to bed because I didn't want to be up all night peeing. Good morning, day two. I'm glad I filled up my water before we came upstairs last night. Now I am, it is like 7.30. Lila's just waking up, I can hear her on the monitor. Um, but I am going to try and just chug some water first thing in the morning to get to the 9 a.m. mark. Um, and then I'll slowly keep drinking throughout the day. That's the plan. Day three update. The water is hard today, guys. I think it's because, so I didn't fill my bottle last night before I brought it upstairs. Um, and so this morning, Lila woke up early and I was playing with her in her room. And all of a sudden, we didn't come downstairs until like nine o'clock and I hadn't drank anything yet. So I started off way behind. I'm slowly catching up. Let's see. I'm at like the almost 5 p.m. mark, a little bit above, and it is 2.30. So I caught up, but I was so stuck on catching up that I've been peeing like all afternoon. So I think I was drinking too much too fast. I don't know if that's gonna have any benefits or not. I think it's supposed, that's why like the bottles are spread out. You're supposed to be drinking water throughout the day, not just 
like chugging it all at once. I don't know. I mean, I feel hydrated. I don't notice anything good happening in my skin yet. In fact, I'm like kind of fighting a breakout, which is atypical for me. I don't know if you guys can see. It's not like a breakout breakout. I shouldn't say that. I know a lot of people struggle with worse breakouts, but it's like I get texture, like bumps on my skin. So here's, you can see it kind of in my forehead. Um, and it's just felt like really tight. And I thought, you'd think with all of the water I was drinking, I'd feel nice and moisturizing my skin. I don't know, maybe it just hasn't taken effect yet. Um, another side effect today, and I'm pretty sure it's all the water. I don't know what else it would be from. I haven't changed anything else about my diet, what I'm eating, what I'm drinking. So everything's been pretty much the same except for adding more water because I wanted to truly see, you know, what adding more water will do. And like when I say I've been running to the bathroom all afternoon, my system has been flushed, let's just say that. So I've definitely experienced some negative, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's good, like a detox. I'm gonna go with that for now, um, but it's definitely annoying. Uh, it doesn't feel great. So I don't know, I'll check in tomorrow, I think. So I don't think I'll have a problem getting through this by the end of the day. All right guys, I'll check in tomorrow. Day four. <sighs> Almost there. It's like eight o'clock. Doing pretty good. I was definitely behind this morning. Um, Lila and I were running around playing in the morning and I just wasn't paying attention to what time it was. It was one of those days where time just like slipped through my fingers and all of a sudden it was like nine o'clock and I was like, oh, we haven't had breakfast yet and I haven't been drinking my water. So I did like a big chug this morning um, to catch up and I did catch up by like three o'clock. I was already to the 5 p.m. mark. So that was good. And I've kind of just been trying to stay on track and um have some big drinks every few hours. So that's what we've been doing. Day six, guys. Sorry, I totally forgot to film an update even yesterday. Um, I'm not doing good today. <laughs> I just showed you. I'm at like the 8 a.m. mark and it's 12.30 p.m. I just gave my daughter lunch. I, it's just, <laughs> to be honest, I just haven't been carrying the water jug around with me today. And that's what I was doing previous days. And it helped. Obviously, I was upstairs. I was folding laundry and like putting a bunch of stuff away. And I got distracted doing that. Lila was playing up in her room for the last couple hours and my water was down here. So now I'm going to have to like chug to catch up because if I don't work ahead during the day, it's really hard for me to finish all the water by the end of the night. It's a lot of water. A gallon of water is a lot of water. <sighs> I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. It does help me. I do notice the days that I do focus on getting the water in first thing in the morning. I feel more alert and awake. Um, I'm doing, I mean, you know, I'll give a full update on my skin and I have makeup on today because I'm going to be filming some other videos for y'all on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I know, I just got to get drinking water. I'm, oh, I was hoping that by this point in the week, it would have sunk in as more of a habit by now. And we'll see how I continue after this one week challenge. My hope is not necessarily that I have to be drinking a gallon of water a day every day, but I feel like I did a good job at working my way up to this. And now after the challenge is over, you know, let's see what kind of benefits we see and I might work my way back down a bit again because I do. I feel like I have to use the bathroom all the time in the middle of the day, especially after if I've been behind and I have to like chug to catch up. So it's just not practical. My body hasn't gotten used to it yet, but my hope is that I'll be drinking more water, maybe not a whole gallon every day, 
but more water on a daily basis after this challenge. I'm gonna chug this water to catch up and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Sorry, it is a rough start to our Friday morning. It is the final day, day seven, of my drinking a gallon of water a day challenge. And I will say the last two days were kind of rough, but look at today. I am already at like the 1 p.m. mark and it is like 10.02 a.m. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm doing really good. I think the only reason I'm doing so good on drinking water though is because I've actually been battling a migraine for most of the night through this morning. So whenever I have a migraine, I tend to just like pound down water to hopefully help it pass. <sighs> Hi, Lila. Sorry, Lila is bouncing around. So can you say good morning? She's grumpy today too, apparently. So I'm glad I'm drinking more water. It is actually helping um, because I drank so much of it this morning. I think it is helping get rid of it. I was hoping that drinking more water all this week would help prevent having any, but it happened. It kind of started coming on last night. I think it was stress related. I was just trying to get a lot done between around the house. I had a bunch of videos going up and just some outside stuff. So, um, hopefully it's passing though. I do feel like my skin is looking pretty nice other than like a little spot here and here. Let's go by the window so you can see more light. Um, I mean, I think the overall tone is good. I feel like my texture is better. I mean, I have absolutely nothing on my face right now. I think I have a little bit of moisturizer that I put on this morning, but that's it. Um, and some of these spots were like left over from last week. I think it's, they look like they're healing pretty quickly and efficiently though. So I'm pretty pleased with that. It feels hydrated. I don't feel so dry. Here's my lip update. Duck lips. If I had fillers. Mm -mm. So I think they look better. They feel better. I don't feel like they've been cracking this week. So, you know, day seven and that's kind of our, our skin update, but I think I'll be just fine conquering the rest of my water today. I'm already almost halfway through and I'm not even at noon yet. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning after my full seven days is when I will do my weigh-in and compare any weight loss that happened this week while drinking the water. Again, I've been just sticking to the plan that I've been on. So this is truly the only factor that's changed. I'm sure I'll talk to you guys more about any other non-scale victories with drinking more water tomorrow morning when I check in. Okay guys, so as you can see, it was not an easy week. There were good points and some really bad points, but my overall takeaway was that I enjoyed drinking more water. I think I really struggled to drink that amount of water the first few days. Um, actually, the first day was pretty easy, but then days like two through four, I was struggling and I felt like I had to pee all the time. So take that into account if you want to do this challenge, make sure you can be able to run to the bathroom a lot the first few days. I was talking about at the beginning of the week how I'd had really dry skin. I also had had a few breakouts left over from my period the week before. And the worst part was my lips. They burned and were cracking and dry and they hurt so bad. So here's a little before and after picture. As you can see guys, I think my lips in particular look so much better and they feel better. Right now I have just like some lip balm on, um, but before I would put on lip balm, Vaseline, I was loading up the lip moisturizing products and they still burned and I felt like the product would just like dissipate right away and be gone. And I feel like they are so much better. That in itself is I think something that drinking more water it made it worth the whole week. Looking at my skin, 
I do think some of the breakouts that I had left over from my period before, those cleared up really quickly. And sometimes for me, they take a long time to go away. I end up with like scabs or dry spots that just take forever to fully heal up. So I think it really excelled the progress of my skin healing from those breakouts. However, on the downside, I don't see a big difference with the texture issues I've been having with my skin. So, I mean, I'm wearing makeup now, but you guys could see in the before and after pictures, I still have a lot of like little texture on my forehead and some on my cheeks. So didn't really help with that. I guess I'll keep looking for another solution. Recapping on my energy, I felt really energized the first like three days. My mind felt clear and awake. And days previously, I kind of felt like I was waking up in a fog, I was groggy, and I felt like by starting my day off by really downing and drinking a good chunk of my water first thing in the morning before having coffee, before eating, I really felt like it helped me feel awake. So that's great. I'm definitely going to continue making sure I drink water first thing in the morning before I have any coffee or eat anything. And hopefully that will help keep my energy up. Obviously the last couple days, it's hard to talk about my energy level because here's the next result. I had the worst three day long migraine this week. I haven't had a migraine in about six weeks. I do keep track of them. And this week I got one, even with drinking all of the water. And guys, this was not a small migraine. Sometimes I get one and it's just like a really bad afternoon where I feel like I need to be in the dark, take some ibuprofen, put some ice on the back of my neck. This one was so persistent. It came on very suddenly. And I was like awake, tossing and turning all that first night. I could get it to go away for short portions of time by taking some migraine just over the counter. I usually just do either ibuprofen or Excedrin migraine um, by taking some of that and having some coffee. And I do drink a ton of water when I'm having a headache and it does help, but I still got it and it didn't help shorten it at all. It was three days long, three days. Oh, it just knocked me on my butt. I felt so unproductive, so tired. I was grumpy. I was, I was not the best mommy to my toddler those days. So didn't help with that. That was the number one thing I was really hoping it would help with, to be honest, because if any of you guys have migraines or really bad sinus headaches, you know how debilitating they can be. So I'm lucky enough, I only get them maybe every other month or so. And you know, they last anywhere from one to three days, but oh well. <laughs> Water's not gonna help with that for me in my experience. And now to talk about what I'm sure most people are interested in is the weight loss aspect of it. I will say I feel like in my face and just looking at myself in the mirror, I feel like maybe I did de-bloat a little bit um, by drinking all the water. Like it just helped me to feel like, like just de-puffed. But I do have side-by-side -side photos for you guys. So let's take a look at those now. At the beginning of the week in my last weigh-in, I weighed in at 306.4 pounds. And that week I had actually lost two pounds from the week before. So I had had a really great weight loss week. Typically then what happens the following week is I usually lose a little bit less. It's more like a half pound, maybe a pound. That's just how my weight loss cycle has been going. So I stepped on the scale this morning after drinking a gallon of water a day for an entire week and I lost another almost three pounds. That's like a 2.8 pounds down from the week before after having just lost two pounds. I just lost almost five pounds in two weeks. That's usually what I lose in a month. If you guys are new and you haven't watched any of my other videos, I'll link above in the iCard my weight loss journey playlist. This is just one challenge of many and a lot of work I'm putting in towards bettering my health. So I'm pretty ecstatic about an almost three pound loss this week. I'm interested to see if in the next week any of it creeps back on. I also did a 
three day water fast just to like kickstart um, the beginning of a month of weight loss back in the fall. I'll link that video um, in the description for you guys in case you're interested. But that's what happened to me during that challenge was I had drank so much water, it really helped to bloat me. But then as I went back to my normal eating and drinking patterns, some of it came back on. I will definitely update you all on that in next week's weigh-in video, which is actually going to be my four month update. I'm also a big proponent of taking pictures and measurements when you're on a weight loss journey. So I did take a before picture and an after picture for my water challenge. So let's take a look at those. Here is me. This was taken the day before I started the water challenge. So a true before picture. And today I put the same outfit back on. Obviously I have a shirt on while I'm talking to you guys. But right before I sat down to film, here is my after picture. So a full seven days of being on a gallon of water a day. I think that this is a big difference. I know I lost three pounds, but this looks crazy. You can see how much my body deep loaded and how different the outfit looks on me, how different the fit of the clothes are. And Guys, it's not like I've been wearing these throughout the week. They're not stretched out. These were fresh from the wash. I just did laundry yesterday. So my outfit is fresh from the washer and dryer. It, if anything, should be a little bit snug on me compared to this. And you can clearly see in the photos that the clothes are bigger. They're fitting looser. The pants rise up higher. The bra is fitting better. The band underneath where your chest is, is laying flat across me. I feel like it's not pushing rolls out <laughs> as much as it maybe was before. So I think there's a big difference, both three pounds down and a visual difference in my side-by-side -side photos. I feel like my face is looking slimmer than it was at the beginning of last week. Well, overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. As you can see, I have my bottle filled up again. I'm going to continue to drink as much as I can of a gallon of water a day. That'll be a goal. It won't be like an absolute must. I'm not gonna let it get in the way of my life, but it will be a goal of mine to continue trying to drink this. And I think by actually having a water bottle that holds an entire gallon of water really helps me visualize and see how how much progress I've made in my water throughout the day. I know a lot of people have done this gallon of water a day challenge. A lot of those women are a lot smaller than I am. So I think my next question that I need to do more research on is, is a gallon of water a day enough for someone at my weight who's just over 300 pounds? Because if men and women need different amounts of water, and a lot of that is based on, you know, the composition of your body and your weight, I think I need to look into more research, but I kind of started doing a little bit this morning. And the charts that I saw from three different health sites, they had a chart and based on like your weight, how many ounces of water a day you should be drinking. And all three of them put someone who is my size at 300 pounds in a category that should be drinking between 150 and 180 ounces of water a day. A gallon of water is like 126 ounces, I believe. That's another 30 to 60 ounces of water a day. So, I mean, I guess that would maybe even out the playing field and truly be more realistic to a comparison of like, as a woman who's more like between 130 and 150 pounds drinking a gallon of water, maybe me at 300 pounds needs to be drinking 180 ounces of water a day to get similar results. That's a lot of water. I don't know. I got to think about that one. I think for now I'm going to continue drinking a gallon of water a day and maybe I will get up the courage and try this challenge again and drink some more. If you have any thoughts about that or have done any research, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed seeing my results on a water challenge. And if you'd like to see more health-based, fitness-based challenges in the future on my channel, so that's going to be it for our challenge review today. And until next time, drink your water. Bye. I always do. I never think.